This golden doodle came in super matted today, and so I had to shave him down for his safety. The reason why he was wet when we shaved him was because our bather gave him a bath beforehand, and then when it came time to blow drying, I noticed that the matting was way too tight, and so I had to shave him before we could continue. He did get left with some fancy boots and a big fluffy head though. His name is Kaner, and like I said, he came in with a lot of mats today, and it was almost to the point where the matting was becoming a pelt. If you don't know what a pelt is, it's basically a very big clump of matting, and when it gets really bad, it can cause skin irritations and even cut off limbs. It's very disgusting, but I've seen it before where matting got so bad on a dog's leg where the dog's leg was no longer attached to its body. This whole process took me about two hours for the bath and everything including in the groom. And if you couldn't tell, Kaner is an older lad and so he didn't appreciate me doing his nails. When I'm grooming, I always try to sit whenever possible because we never really get any breaks, honestly. And so sometimes I really gotta rest my thick thighs. Since Kaner got pretty short, I was scissoring his feet to match the length on his body. Hopefully this shorter haircut will be better for Kaner's parents so then he won't get matted the way he was today. I always do my best to educate the client, but sometimes it just goes in one ear and out the other. So at some point, I really just gotta pick up my clipper and start shaving them down. It's just better for the dog and the owner in the long run. The hardest pet parents to work with are the ones that want their dogs long and their dog is consistently matted. You'll hear groomers say over and over and over again that if you want your dog long, or if you really just want a dog in general, to make sure to brush your dog. We aren't trying to say that to ridicule you or be mean in any way, and someone actually asked me if I say that to make my job easier. And obviously that's not the case, it's just because I care about your pets and I want them to be happy and healthy. Like sometimes I don't understand why it's so hard to brush your dog while they're sleeping. That might sound a little bad because they can't really consent to it, but it's better to do it when they're tired so then they put up less of a fight. And I mean that only relating to dogs, thank you. Even though Kaner did get shaved down, I always do my best to make sure that these dogs look the best they possibly can. And just wait till you guys see what accessory I gave him, I just think he is so adorable and so handsome. I'm also happy that I was able to give him a haircut that he definitely needed. Okay, now tell me if it was worth the wait or not. Like, look at that. That is so adorable. A tie for dogs? Are you kidding me? Kaner is all done though, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me giving him a makeover. If you did enjoy, comment a dog breed you would like to see in my next video. Bye, Kaner!